Oh, yeah, baby. Look at that. Beautiful. Um, I brought out my 12-volt battery pack, which may not have the amperage actually to drive this. Because these are a hard thing to unbox and then explain. I love how that one exploded, though. LED replacement bulbs to the rear end of my Caprice. Now, I bought a set of these Oxitos for the little front LEDs. The little, um, on my car, they're supposed to be like white, and then I turned them to white LEDs, and they started freaking out and breaking. They were like broken after one winter. They were just blinking, not in a cool way, in a bad way. <coughs> so I got to this company. No one recommended them. I just searched, found specifically the ones that looked the best on the internet, bought them. They were so well built, those little amber ones that I now have in there, that I'm like, all right, fuck it. Let's see what they do for brake lights. So I bought brake light and reverse lights from the same company. And here are the reverse lights. And they claim some pretty hefty numbers as far as lumens. They're all like 2600 lumen. Open them gently. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to show this to you because, again, this battery pack is probably good for about an amp. And it's only LED, but it's still... Look at the heat sink inside of it. I love how well built everything is and how it doesn't use stupid contacts. It's actually got solder joints on a circuit board. So this should be the reverse light. This will be the first one we test on. Not blow anything up. I have two batteries in case one is dead. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go blind too. Just want to point that out. This should be reversible. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Holy Jesus Mary. I'm blind. Someone just soldered my eye sockets. Holy shit. So. That's the reverse light. Okay, that's, that works. That works. Hi. There's now six or eight dots. Nope, there's, 50, there's 12. At least 12 dots. That was bad. I'll learn how to do this. Imagine if all you did was unbox lights. You'd be like, oh man, this is great. And this, this comes with the resistors. Cool. In case you need them. Because when you do brake lights, brake lights tend to need to, to feel the resistance. And if there's a flasher unit. So look, it comes with heat sinked resistors that you put in line. These are the inline crimps. So you just put this around the wire that's already there. Slide in there. You put this lead in here. You squeeze this with the pliers. It attaches the wires together so that when you hit the brakes, this provides resistance and it causes the actual flasher that works off heat to go hot, cold, hot, cold, hot. That's what makes a flasher work, by the way. It's when you hear the click, 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 click. That's it getting hot and then shutting off. So that's it's real basic. Same shit since like the 40s. So these are there in case the bulbs don't work. Here are said bulbs. By the way, those were like 16 and this is like 25 for this whole kit. Look at these. Look at them. Plastic bottoms, folded metal here, because that's what the bulb takes, very thick. All aluminum, heat sink, all aluminum, knurling. Doesn't even need knurling, three sides with four emitters each side, and then a projector lens on top. Now, my brake lights are my turn signals, which is why there's two sets. So I'm not 100% sure how this has to be wired, but we're gonna, um, we're gonna give this a shot straight across two of these first. Okay, that's not it, it's probably, a, it's a shared pair, one on one side, one on the other. That is red. It's not actually it's easier for me to hold if it's one on one side, one on the other. Get off there, don't ground out, you fuck. Oh, I grounded it out. That is red. Chewbacca, is that red? It also hurts my eyes. So now I wonder how that's gonna look inside the housing, because it does shoot in all directions, so it will use a reflector of the housing and look dead straight on too. And the other side should be the flasher side. Let me see, what does this do? I think that's just the same thing. So it's just both does it put on? I have no idea. I don't know how things work, all right? Don't ask me how things work. But uh, we'll see how these look. If they look stupid, 
because it's just a standard little bulb. And number one, it sort of sucks because if you lose a brake light in my car, you lose everything. And I keep an extra set of bulbs in my glove box, which pasta, fun fact, was it pasta that gave me this fact or sushi? There are more guns in glove boxes than gloves. So they should be called gun boxes. Truth. So I'll give these a shizot. See if it make my car look too ricer. I just, I want that immediacy of like when I put the brakes on, it's just, uh, instead of like that fade up, fade down. Most modern cars have LEDs. I wanted to have LEDs. And these are practically nicer than most things I, I've seen LED arrays out. That's glass. Those aren't even plastic. You could hear it's glass. So uh, there's about a trillion of these companies and I'm, I'm just running with Oxito. Global supplier for automotive LED. And it's exactly what my car is gonna look like. So we'll see what the tail lights and the brake lights and the reverse lights make some magic happen. Uh, this might be a short one. I might have to add on. We'll see. Oh, fuck. Lifetime holiday movies 24-7 starting October 25th. That's a couple days ago. I'm going to when this is coming out. Um, this is probably going on the short row. What are we looking at? 331? All right. I like unboxing. This will be 10 minutes long. Either 8 minutes or 12 minutes is fine. 10 minutes long is good. So if it's like 4 minutes long, then I combine it with other things. And depending on what's in each box determines how long the unboxing is. Because I can make a really interesting unboxing about intricate, finite things, expensive tube amps, fine cat fur rugs. Or if it's bullshit, like extension cords, it's like, all right, just, just open the fucking extension cords, yes? Explain why you're using an extension cord. What are you? Wow, that was fast. I ordered things in yesterday. Um, a certain princess prefers this total repair, extreme renewing conditioner. It actually smells decent. So there you go. Do not get it confused with Super 77 spray adhesive. They look very similar. Don't. Um, the princess also, ironically, or unironically, I don't know how you want to put it, uh, left one of these here. Hers, however, has Disney princesses on it. Slut with that choker. And um, so I'll give that back to her. I use it on my hair too. And I bought these because they're nice and big and they hang in the shower and you can comb them through your long, luscious male or female hair, depending on the color. And it doesn't get caught. So that's $5 for two. She was like, you found it? It's so hard to find those. And I'm like, yeah, and mine doesn't have princesses on it. She only got them with the princesses because she couldn't find one without princesses. Bullshit. We've got extension cords. We've got Amazon Basics extension cords. We've got a holiday box. Let's open up. I think we've got same ones. Like I think this and this one are the same. Yep. These are two pack from Amazon Basics. And these are one pack from GE. And the reason I bought so many extension cords is because I always need some, but not like crazy. Like, look, look at the beauty of this. Look at the beauty, Rich, and why I bought this. Let me cut off these warning labels because fucking stupid fucking warning labels are stupid. And then all of these things are stupid. Let me just, I have to unstupid these. If you don't do this and you just keep them on your cords and extension cords, you're a bad human and you deserve to go to an island somewhere. An island where there's nothing but people with cords, stickers. I literally spend most of my day just removing them. General use extension cord. Thanks for telling me that stupid, shiny, fucking stupid sticker bastard. Look at all this bulk. Anywho. This is a perfect extension cord. Like for 99% of my needs, which is why I bought two of them. Because I'm gonna plug this in behind my microwave cart here, which Chewbacca's currently eating at, where I only have two outlets. I'm gonna plug that in, and then it'll fit flush so this cabinet can move against the wall. Plug in my microwave, my extension cord, and my base station for VR. That's the ones in black. These are, I was gonna get these and only these because they're Amazon Basics. I got four of these, i.e. two packages, 
with similar fucking sticker, you fucker. Mm. Oh, imagine if everyone was as smart as you are. They wouldn't need these stupid things that say, don't use this in water. You know shit. And this is the same thing, only white and a little bit longer. So that's the things I need. I need a short one that's black and a longer one, slightly longer one that's white. The only thing I would change is if they could do it on both sides because big old transformers, if I need to put two, means one here and one here in the opposite direction, which might even leave room for another plug. I don't know. Just these are convenient. Welcome to convenience with Zeos. No, I'm not feeling that. All right. I got more. These are going to leave boxed up. These I'll finish unboxing. Actually, no. I'm not leaving anything boxed up. Anyway, that's it. Combs and shampoos and five minutes. You'll see another one in a second. I'm going to attach it to this.